another new venue for you. I've been driving about an hour. I'm in Springfield now and I'm on my way down to Ozark. I'm going to meet my buddy Jerry and we're going to take a float trip on the James River. I called Jerry and told him I was running about 30 minutes early, so hopefully he'll be here any minute now. Jerry's wife, Jean, is in the car with him. His truck is the put-in truck. He has the canoe in it. And after we're launched, Jean will drive his truck back home, and that way we won't have to double back and go get it before we go home. All of a sudden, we've run into some very dense fog. I can barely see Jerry's car ahead of me. Well, this is where we will be taking out at the end of the float. So I'm going to get in the car with Jerry and Jean now and drive up to where we're going to launch the canoe. Well, we have encountered a very difficult problem. We can't launch where we had planned to launch. Jerry has been launching here for 50 years, but someone has purchased this property and has it posted and we cannot put the canoe in here. So we're going to have to go back and take my car and move it again to a new takeout place and set up another float. This float was going to be about 10 miles long, but the one that we're actually going to get to take now is only going to be about five miles long. So bear with us. We got a reset. Well, this is our new takeout spot. We got to go up again and hopefully we'll be able to launch our canoe and get on our way. First fish of the day. He's pulling the boat around, Jerry. <laughs> Looks like a goggle eye. Got me a goggle eye. All right. I might be a while on him. Oh, did you get him? <laughs> he got off.
Double. Pretty good smiley there. It's fun, isn't it? Got a pretty fish. I have to loosen my drag just a little. Oh, Jerry, I had a good one. Uh-oh. Don't like this. Oops. I I use my finger as a degorger. Did you see that fish? Did you see him? <laughs> Let's see that one on it. Throw it down there, Jerry. Throw it down there, quick. Right under it, right there, drop it under him. Didn't get it down far enough. Got me another goggle eye. All right. Man, you think catfish can't take off? Did you see that? <laughs> that boy hit the ground running. Look at here what he left on my line. Well, he did, didn't he? That's a good scent, though. Yeah, if you want scent, well, that couldn't get any better than that. Huge small mouth there and he snapped that line before I could no, even turn. That'd be a good place to get a rock over there. Look at here. Green sun.
I decided to do some underwater photography during lunch. My next video will show you what I filmed. Hang on. There we go. Got it. <laughs> Uh-oh. I believe mine's a little bigger. I believe so too. That's a good spot there, isn't it? Man, too bad we don't have a rock right there. We can sit there and catch a dozen. Saw another one with him, Jerry. Well, they won't give up, will they? No. Good small mount there. Pretty one? Yeah. Three times. Broke it again. There's something breaking now. Don't you got a rough place in your huh? or your reel? I might have. I think I do have. I think I do have. Because that's that's three of them. And I think I see a rough place. That is irritating.
There he is again. Dang, I had I hooked one, he got off, and I threw in there and hooked it. Yeah. He didn't break, did he? Uh, it, it felt like a real good fish. Go back up there. Hey, Jerry, let me get over your rod. Okay, got it. It's a good one, isn't it? Yeah. Let me go back up there and anchor. Let's wait till I get him in. I'm no, I get him. I had at least four or five strikes right there. And I had one on two or three times. Man, there was a bunch of fish in there. I'd like to go back up there. Had the motor fixed, we could. Uh, let's let's go. When where could we go fix it? We can hit the paddles and go in there and take gravel bar. That there was a big there was a big tree laying in there, and they were uh, laying in there next to that tree. I threw that last one right in the bank, caught him right on the bank. Best way to do it be probably go on that right side and go up above it and drift down the same way we did. That angle seemed to work. Two big ones right around him. I caught him right on the bank. No, it's a smallie. No, by golly, it's not. No, it's largemouth. I caught that last fish about a hundred yards from the takeout place, so we're on our way home now. This has been quite a day. We lost a lot of time this morning switching cars around and ended up taking a float we wasn't planning on taking. But we made the best of it and it was a great day. It's always a good day fishing with Jerry and we even caught a few fish. We appreciate you coming along with us and hit that notification bell and we'll tell you when we go again.